Yo, what's up? It's your boy Jay Thrash back with another one. Good to see y'all. Hope everybody doing good, staying good, protected, getting that money, all that, man. A woman's sister in shock because her sister died getting a butt lift surgery in Turkey. I didn't even know that Turkey was doing those, but they sent her body back home with missing organs. Are you lying? No. Nah. Before we get into the video, man, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I appreciate y'all coming through. I'm going to keep these videos pumping out, going up, up, up to the stuck. You hear me? I like this guy. Roll the clip. Happy birthday to you. This was Kadel Brown's final birthday. She died four days after this celebration. A hard-working single mum of two who'd hoped cosmetic surgery would boost her self-confidence. And so, with her sister Leanne, she travelled to Turkey for a so-called mummy MOT, but never came home. For it, we're going to get her life back. Um, so she just wanted to get there and have it done and get her old self back. That's all it was for her. The sisters were enticed by a cut price deal for flights, hotels, liposuction, a tummy tuck and a Brazilian butt lift. They chose a surgery called Clinic Expert, which bombarded them with looks they could achieve, repeatedly offering discounted extras. Leanne spoke to us alongside their other sister. I just feel like <laughs> I wouldn't want to get something that they talk about it's a discount on a surgery like what are we talking about discounts on surgeries yeah, when you go in and you're paying they're your best friends and they they'll help you with anything but once something goes wrong it's Left to yourself goodbye and for kadel something wrong? did go catastrophically wrong just hours after she took this picture i'd asked a few times where she what how long she was going to be and they just kept saying she'd come in and then I got a knock on door and three people walked in and just said, can you come with us, please? It just started trying to say, you know, there's complications of surgery. And I just said, as my sister died, and they just said, I'm sorry, but yeah. They just mm. passed me an envelope, said, this is your money back and this is your sister's money back. And you know, this is your fly. Sorry she's dead, it was a plane ticket, there were nothing. Leanne was refused access to Kadel's body. When it was finally returned to the UK, more devastating news was to come. To their horror, a coroner here told them that large parts of Kadel's organs, including her brain and heart, had been removed. Wow, bro. Like, that's why you don't need to be going to them different countries. You don't know how they operate over there. I would never in my life go get a surgery somewhere. Like, you know, and then they talked about, like, discounts and stuff too, man. Oh, man. And they returned a body that they'd kept pieces of her heart and her intestines. How hard was that to hear? Better. I don't think it was allowed, but they said it's legal. They can take what they want. I thought you'd have to ask at least permission from family before you took anything, but... They sent a That's where people be, you know what I'm saying, as Turkey, you know, going to different countries and don't be knowing the, the, the bylaw, you know what I'm saying, the guidelines and all that. Like, man. Uh. Death certificate straight away and just put no, mm. not, there's not even a cause of death. We wanted to investigate this further in Turkey, but authorities there refused our visas, providing no reason why. Of course. From their Istanbul surgery, clinic expert insists that no evidence of organ trauma was found and Cadell's body left them untouched. They say an internal review found no malpractice and her death was likely caused by fat blocking a blood vessel, a risk in this type of surgery. Man. ITV News can reveal Dr. Sinem Singen is the surgeon who operated on Kadel. She's now left clinic expert, but is performing the same procedure elsewhere. She refused an interview on camera, but told us Kadel's death was due to a known complication of such surgery, not medical malpractice. Back at Clinic Expert, the relentless pursuit of British business continues. 
Using an ITV News undercover reporter, we held a consultation with a telesales agent at the clinic. I'm just looking to get more information on the mummy makeover. As you can see, I'm just all a bit, oh, you know, like I really want to go ahead with it. I've been thinking about it for a while, but you hear all these stories about things going wrong. No, Miss, uh, we have performed the time attack procedure, you know, every day at least six or seven cases. We have confirmed two deaths at the clinic since 2011. Figures not disclosed during our recording. What's the worst thing that can happen with this? And has anyone ever died? I can truly say that I never ever faced of this kind of serious um, experience in my entire career. Mm. During our investigation, Kadel sister. I guess the reason why that girl left that clinic, you know what I'm saying? And if because if it was just something that can happen, why would that girl have to leave? Why would she leave that that place and then still be doing it somewhere else? You know what I'm saying? And again, I just can't get over the discount part. I just can't, I can't get over the discount part. Mr. informs us of an update. Hello, Rachel. We will be at Sheffield Coroner's Court tomorrow. A fresh pathology report has allowed an inquest into Kaydell's death to be opened. We were with Leanne as she expressed her relief that the case was now in the UK courts. Things can't be hidden anymore and they know what happened now, so it's just gathering that evidence. And they want to use that evidence to warn the 150,000 Britons who travel to Turkey every year for cosmetic surgery. 28 have died at clinics across Turkey since 2019 and many hundreds more suffer complications. It's, Plastic it's surgeon not Dr Harper Machin is seeing more and more patients needing corrective surgery in the UK following procedures overseas bleeding and blood collections that would need to go back to the operating theatre to be stopped are obviously a very immediate complication that, yes, would be apparent in the, in the very short term after the surgery. But things like serious infections, sepsis, wound breakdown, skin necrosis or death of the skin, uh, for example, in a tummy tuck where the skin is incredibly tight once it's been removed, um, those things are only apparent in the days, weeks, months after the surgery. Complications mm. that Kay Dell's family wish they'd known more about as they now live with the heartbreaking consequences. That's tough, Anyone man. that that meets her will say, she just smiled, mm. she laughed. This miss picking up the phone and talking to her. What was she like as a sister? Loving, love, love her. There. Kevin. Yeah. Funny. This family has lost a mum, daughter, sister and a best friend. And none of them know exactly why. Rachel Townsend, ITV News. Man, sheesh. Self-love, self-love, self-love will always be the best love. No matter what nobody else thinks about you, it's what you feel about yourself. It's how you wake up every day and how you feel. Nobody can can make you feel any way that you already don't feel about yourself. And that's just a fact. So you got to learn how to love yourself first before engaging with anybody or, you know, anything like that. And, and don't compare yourself to what you think is the norm. What, don't compare yourself to what you think is the grain. Go against the grain. Be yourself. Be yourself. Love yourself. Because these things have turned out so dangerous. I, I, I say it all the time to women. Like, you don't need no BBLs. You don't need no butt lift surgeries. Do the, do the proper work and, and, and live with those results. Live, live with the natural results. Don't go to no clinic where they doing surgeries for a, a discounted price. It just don't make no sense. How much do you love yourself if you would subject yourself to that? You know what I mean? Tough, man, but condolences to that lady right there. And, you know what I'm saying, our condolences to the family and RIP to that lady right there for sure, man. Make sure y'all stay safe. Tell me what you think about this in the comments, though. But make sure you stay safe, stay easy, stay protected, get them folk out your circle that ain't supposed to be there. Easier said than done, but it's definitely doable. So do it, man. And love yourself. All right? I'm gone.